Today, we will be demonstrating how to wire a Monroe smart box. Before you begin this project, be sure that your breaker is turned off. Step 1. Review the components. When you remove the cover of the smart box, you will find a time delay. You will also find a motor contactor and a pressure sensor and boot. Step 2. Review the wiring diagram. For reference, the wiring diagram is located on the inside cover of the control box. This diagram shows both the low voltage side of the box, where the box is wired to the irrigation controller, and the high voltage side of the box, where the smart box is wired to the pump and breaker box. The diagram also shows that you have a 24 volt coming in from the sprinkler timer onto the black and white wire. The red and blue wires connect to the pressure sensor. For the purpose of this demonstration, you'll notice that we have already removed the bottom knockouts and the power supply wire is already run to the box, but has not been hooked up yet. Step 3. Wiring from the irrigation controller to the smart box. These are the two wires coming from the sprinkler controller, generally black and white or red and white. And in this case, black is on the master valve terminal and white is on the con. They will match up with the black and white wires that are included in the smart box. Now you want to match the black to black and white to white and connect with a wire nut. If the wires coming from the irrigation controller are red and white, match the colored wires and the white wires. Now note, with anything electrical, make sure your connections are good and tight. Loose connections can both be dangerous and also reduce the longevity of your control box due to possible arcing and burning of the contact terminals. Lastly, make sure to tuck the wires back out of the way. You have now wired the smart box to the irrigation controller. Step 4. Wiring the pressure sensor. The red and blue lead wires connect to either side of the pressure sensor. Secure the wires inside the box with a wire knot. Step 5. Wiring the smart box to the pump. These wires are the power supply wires going to the pump. Connect both wires to the terminals found at the bottom of the contactor. Power from the breaker box goes to the top of the contactor. And there are two different versions of the connections, a spade or fork. In this demonstration, we are using the spade connectors. Now don't forget to connect black to black and white to white so your colors line up as they pass through the contactor. Now we're ready to connect the ground. Loosen the grounding lug. Take the two ground wires and pass them from either side. Now you want to retighten the grounding lug. Make sure to tuck the wires back out of the way. Replace the cover and you have now completed wiring for your Monroe Smart Box.